and Jason and I have been to New York, but this is the first time we have brought Colin with us. No, I'm, I can't do that. <laughs> Where did we just land, Maya? At the airport. Where though? <laughs> in New York. <laughs> we are in New York City for the week. Abby, Maya, Jason, and I have been to New York probably a dozen times for various toy related conventions, but this is the first time we have brought Colin with us and the first time our foster daughter has been in New York City. So. We are excited to play tours this week. I guess we are tourists, so we're not playing tours. And we're excited to take you along for the ride with us. We haven't been in New York City for an hour yet, and of course, our first stop is FAO Shorts in Rockefeller Center. It's like the biggest, coolest toy store. I love coming to FAO Schwartz even as an adult because they have a really amazing mix of just super cool toys, some really outlandish things, some very different things, and of course some good old staples. And I love that they give demonstrations of the toys as well. So you can kind of get an idea for some new things that you maybe haven't seen before. What did you find, Addy? Posh! It's Posh! Of course! Of course you go to a toy store and you find your horse. Yep. There's a giant horse section over there. So I've been looking over there some and found Posh's girl. What'd you get, Addy? I got a chicken kebab with barbecue sauce. And look at the it. It's so good. Nashville with you with the barbecue sauce, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. I got a pretzel, and I was gonna get something called falafel over rice, which is like rice falafel, but they're out of falafel, so I just got rice because I love rice. So. <laughs> pretzel and rice, meal of champions, right? Mm-hmm. It is day number two in New York City, and today, what are our big plans? We're gonna go to the Statue of Liberty. That's right, in all the years, all the times I've been to New York City, none of us have actually gone to the Statue of Liberty. So this is gonna be a first for all of us. The ferry took us over here. We're about to trek up to the pedestal, which is kind of the bottom or near the feet of the Statue of Liberty. On the way up, I learned that um, in very strong wind, the Statue of Liberty can sway three inches, and the torch that she's holding, mm -hmm. the torch can sway six inches. Ooh, that's quite a bit of swing. Yeah. It spends about five hours between the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. Ellis Island, <laughs> and we are currently headed back to Battery Park. We just got off the boat in Battery Park, and Maya, what did we find over here? Big snake. I don't know about this, Maya. I'm a little scared. There's some I'm really nice. big so snakes. You're gonna, are you gonna hold it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put them on. Oh, that's nice! <laughs> Put them on, you got oh, that's fire. Who is? Don't worry. Look at You're Daddy. good. Oh. They are a lot braver than I am. That snake is big and creepy looking. My, was it scary? That was so much fun. But it's weird because it felt like inside there was a thing and it was like squishy and then hard in the middle. <laughs> that 
was crazy. And it was slipping off me. That's how it was kind of crazy. And it felt a bit nice and a bit slimy near its tail. <laughs> and I petted it. I'm sure did. That's one thing I've come to learn about New York is that you never know what you're gonna see. Today it was giant snakes. Tomorrow, who knows? We were heading back to grab a taxi. We stumbled across a really fun playscape, outdoor playground area. And I have to say, some of my favorite memories from the trips and travels we've done in the past have been things like this, the places that we weren't originally going out to see, but we stumbled upon and end up being little hidden gems that just make like a sweet memory for the trip. We're at Bakery and Desserts in Times Square, and they have so many different desserts here. But I think I'm gonna get macarons. What are you getting? I'm getting some. Uh... You're gonna get macarons too? Yeah. I'm doing an Oreo cheesecake. I I just simply got macarons because Again? everybody's getting macarons today. I couldn't choose because Dad said, "Well, we're definitely coming back here one more time." So I was like, "I sure hope so." So I got <laughs> macarons because I might get like strawberry cake next time. It's funny because I feel like in all of our travel vlogs that we've done in the past, you know, no matter what city we're in, we always are able to find an incredible chocolate shop or dessert place because we just have an eye for the sweet shops. Now we're shopping right in the middle of Times Square with all these cute little tiny red little building shops. And I'm sure you know what Times Square is because it's really popular. It has lots of bright billboards and like big screens. And then th it's actually where the ball drops for New York. For New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. In New York. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Times Square always amazes me because it is always crowded here no matter the time of day. I took the girls to see Wicked last night on Broadway and we came out probably around 11 p.m. and it was just packed shoulder to shoulder. We were holding on to each other, like fighting the crowds, trying to get back to our hotel. Luckily we made it safely, but I'm always just amazed at the crowds here. The amount of crowds here makes me socially overwhelmed. And there are like a ton of people doing some strange things that you would never see in Nashville. So it's very different to me and it, and it kind of weirds me out in some ways. It's our third day in New York and this morning we're in Central Park. This is one of my favorite places to visit whenever we come to New York. We never skip it because I just think it's such a magical place. You're in the middle of a big giant city and there are skyscrapers surrounding you. Yet there's this beautiful patch of miles and miles of greenery. We can explore the trails and there's parks and even a little zoo and ponds, carriage rides. There's just so much magic to explore in Central Park. Colin, this is your first time at Central Park. What do you think of it? There's lots of little kids, but <laughs> there's lots of water fountains. Most little kids are on those. Yeah, lots of splash. I think he means there's lots of splash pads here. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of splash pads. Do you like the playgrounds? Yeah. Where are we right now? We're at the Harry Potter shop in New York, and it's Awesome. <laughs> but we didn't even know this place existed. We were just on a Little bus tour bus. ride and we saw this place. We actually got off of the bus tour, ditched the bus tour because we went we to come check out the here. Harry Potter store. So I think my Harry Potter phase has just begun again. So. She was kind of getting over Harry Potter, but I think it we're full fledged. I'm slithering all the way, just so you guys know. <laughs> Maya. What are you? Are you Slytherin too? I'm Hufflepuff. You're Hufflepuff. Okay. okay. I have to admit, I still have not read the Harry Potter books. I know I need to. It's embarrassing. I know, I'm embarrassing Addie right now. Okay, I'm gonna go around and list all the ones I have. 
I know I have Sirius Black's wand. I don't know if it's here or not. I have Ginny's wand. I have Hermione's wand. I have Harry's <laughs> wand. I have Draco's wand. I have the Elder wand. I think that's it. Wow, that's so, a lot of wands, Addy. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a collector of all things Harry Potter. <laughs> Girly, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, right? Yeah. They told us that if there's lightning, that they have to shut it down. It's a little bit cloudy today, so my has been praying all morning for what? Lightning to come. <laughs> <laughs> so we are down here, and we're gonna go all the way up to the 86th floor, and then no. to the no. 102nd. Floor. Wait, we're going to. To the 102nd nope. floor. We're oh, staying yeah, on our yeah. Oh yeah. How about this right here? This is a good part. Right there. Right That's where Not you up go. Here. Right Not here. up there. I think we already made it. We're up on the Empire State one. Let's just go back down. We're on the second floor right now. Yeah, that's that's enough. Get to see it 
Eagle. Keep your arms and legs inside and keep your eyes open. Do you see those hot rivets fly through the air? We made it! Yeah! It's so high up, it's insane. I'm not even at the top. We're not. I'm kind of scared to like look over too much. <laughs> yeah, these are sa safe and secure, I know that, but this is like so high. We're on the 86th floor now, so we're gonna spend some time on this deck. This is kind of the deck that I think of when I think of all the movies on the Empire State Building. It's usually this is where they are. But pretty soon we're gonna head up to the 102nd floor. Maya, what are you looking at right now? The Statue of Liberty from far away. What's crazy is we thought the Statue of Liberty was pretty tall, mm -hmm. but it is, it's like tiny compared to Teeny this. tiny, I think the top of the Empire State Building is almost five times taller than the Statue of Liberty. It's crazy. And next, we head up there. Wait, no, I'm, I can't do that. <laughs> Actually, I can. You can. Open here, we just have these big, long, tall glass windows keeping us from everything down there. Maya, so what do you think about this? Are you it's not scary. Yeah, once you're up here, it's not scary. Okay, I know I'm like terrified of the elevator and stuff, but honestly, the elevators were my favorite part they instead favorite of the part. view. <laughs> It's the next morning, we're in the hotel lobby, we've been over to take us back to the airport, so it's time to head back to Nashville. Thank you so much for joining us in New York this week, we hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>